And uh, despite the governor's uh, assertion at the National Governors Conference that Minnesota doesn't need this fund, these funds that our, uh, our, our state is in, uh, as he told the governors, in pretty good shape. Well, I, pretty good isn't good enough. Uh, our unemployment rate is, is edging well over 7.5%. And we have uh, over 30,000 building tradesmen that uh, need jobs. And we can have them working by the 1st of June, and if the state adheres to this initiative, uh, they can do this. $12 billion in the transit account. Uh, we have $1.1 billion in rail, uh, $800 million for Amtrak, and $300 million for intercity passenger rail. Uh, Three billion dollars for the airport improvement program in aviation, and uh, uh, six point nine billion dollars for environmental infrastructure, uh, meaning your wastewater treatment fund, the state revolving loan fund. Uh, we also, in in this provision, include uh, use it or lose it formula. The states have to have half of that $30 billion under contract obligated within 90 days. If not, they lose their entitlement and it goes to other states that can use that money. And, and I have developed a process for ensuring transparency and accountability. Minnesota, I'm very pleased under uh, Commissioner Sorrell, has, uh, has responded. They have uh, provided by State Highway District, Engineering District, a listing of projects that fit within this 90-day, use it or lose it, ready to go formula. Uh, the uh, state of Wisconsin, next door, uh, is, is in very, very strong position to move ahead and use these funds. Governor Doyle testified at the hearing I held last week on the readiness of states to move ahead and implement our infrastructure initiative. And he uh, delineated the steps that Wisconsin has taken to have projects ready to go, to, to clear out the uh, permitting obstacles, to cut through the bureaucracy, to work with the Federal Highway Administration, which in our instance has uh, reached out to states and said, bring your projects in here before the House or Senate passes this legislation and let us review them and pre-clear your projects. Wisconsin did that. I uh, parenthetically leaned over to the microphone and said, would you like to be governor of Wisconsin and Minnesota? <laughs> Congressman, are you concerned that Governor Bloody is in fact uh, skeptical about this, has been skeptical for months? You'll take the money but says this is bad uh, policy. Uh, what he says is irrelevant. Uh, it's what he does that's important. Uh, he made those uh, statements at the National Governors Conference trying to, I don't know, whatever, show that Minnesota's in good shape. It's not. The reality is the, the, the uh, severe worldwide, nationwide economic recession is hitting home in Minnesota as it is in other states. And we have an opportunity to create jobs as spelled out in our initiative and even by the uh, DOT uh, program of projects. And so I expect the governor to sign off, commit to the current program of projects for the current fiscal year, and to sign off on the program of projects that will, that will be covered by the stimulus. So do I hear you saying that plenty is the only question mark here? I can only go on what he said at the Governor's Conference, and, and I hope that he uh, changes his heart. <laughs>